Uh, there was no, there was no talk about that. I mean, fuck. I just, I like being snug. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't. Well, most of the time, was, and we didn't knock each other's teeth out. <laughs> you know, but chops and stuff. We laid that shit in. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you had, your chest was red for a couple of days. <laughs> Purple. <laughs> <laughs> You know the funny parts. There was some guys that didn't want to be chopped. Oh you know? yeah, I know. And uh, I know there's a lot of them. They didn't want anywhere near our match. I don't know if I should tell the story, but tell it. I I well, anyway, there was a guy, big guy, muscle, much bigger than me, much taller. Went to Jim Crockett, told him that I was hurting him, and he didn't want to wrestle me. This is a, yeah, Crockett called me into his office and he says, uh, so and so just you're hurting him. He don't want to wrestle you. Yeah, that actually happened. I believe it. <laughs> Who was it? Who was it? Lex Luger. I knew it. Oh my god. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. What a physique, you know, and I'm going, geez. And I'd never wrestled them again. Wow. <laughs> and I, said, I said to myself, my God, you know. You know, and I give him credit, though. Ric Flair never complained. And I split this chin, I mean, his, his skin, you know, many times in his chest he was bleeding. You know. And he jokes about it. He said he had Neil's pouring, you know. Put on it every night. <laughs> <laughs> and you never complain. You know, no. you never complain. Not one no. time. <laughs>